Can the golden arches take down the king? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. In the GMM Extended Food Feudiverse, or Jeff, if you will, <laughs> countless food behemoths have been pitted against one another in dramatic fashion. But none of the battles have been as big as this one. McDonald's against... Against. Against... Burger King. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, we've had McDonald's versus Wendy's. We've had Burger King versus Jack in the Box. Breakfast. Uh, but we've never had anything quite like this, and mm -hmm. it seems like the one that we would have started with. But here we are, doing it now. The winners of the two past battles between Burger King and somebody else and McDonald's and somebody else are now facing yeah, off the day, McDonald's and Burger King. All right, and these two fast food mega powers, they don't go at each other that much on social media, but the fans of the two places do. Mm -hmm. V tweeted, Burger King is just what your parents get when they don't want to fulfill your excitement of getting McDonald's. Oh, oh. oh that's a tough house to grow up in. T-Bet says, people who prefer McDonald's over Burger King have literally the worst taste buds. Okay, all right, you don't have to be so personal about it. And Stefan Ferrari said, Burger King is legit the boop and the king. Do yourself a favor and stop wasting your time and money at McDonald's, like seriously. Okay, strong words. So uh -huh. how will this faded feud come to an end? Will there be a tasty climax? It's time for Food Feuds, McDonald's versus Burger King. We're gonna taste and compare popular foods from both menus and rate them on a scale of one to 10. Yep. The fast food joint with the most points will be crowned the top rack fast food shack and will win a chance to sponsor, this is a quite an honor, a future GMM episode. And we're gonna get so healthy in the process. Yes. Now usually in these Food Feuds episodes, we get actual employees from the restaurants to serve us, but apparently today we have the mascots. Oh, cool. Are you, Ronald? I'm McAgent McMac, <laughs> the detective who's been hunting down the Hamburglar for the last 30 years. Every time I think he's within my grasp, he slips through my fingers. Oh, it's Ron as my witness. I will bury him under the McPrison. So that's a Big Mac. <laughs> It's got uh, uh, two all beef patties, special yeah. sauce, yeah. onions. You know this. Yeah, song. right. We For five eighty nine. Five eighty nine. Well, the price has really gone up. Well, Remember when you used to buy these? Uh, oh, there's, there's a. Hello. Hi. I apologize that my husband could not make it today, so I am here in his stead. His face is busy being everyone's sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> oh wow! Okay. I am the Burger Queen. Yes. <laughs> So this is our iconic Whopper. Um, it's got a quarter pound of flame broiled beef and uh, lettuce, tomato, mayo, sliced onions and pickles, and it's six fifty nine. Ta ta. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. So ta -ta. first of all, I was expecting Ronald and the Burger King. Oh well, yes. Uh, that's not what we got. It isn't. But we got a we, we got, got a some sing drama. And we also have a singular uh, sandwich for the okay. two of us. Okay. Well, I've removed all. Previous experience. I don't even know what McDonald's Burger King are. That's a good taste, y'all. I think I've already told you before. Wow. There was a special when I was in college when those were five cents, and I bought about 20 of them and lived off of them for at least a week. And I never would think you'd want a third slice of bread in the middle of the thing. I don't even think about but it, though. You don't even think about it, and you kind of, it, it really, it does a trick. This does not have cheese, they always add more mayonnaise than I think is, is I, needed. I don't know, I'm a, pretty, I'm a mayonnaise boy. So, uh, just take, take, can you just they, take They're a making bite? us eat out of, off the same one this time. Yeah, well, I'm gonna, t I'm gonna not do what you did. I'm gonna, like, back the, bite the back of the burger. Well, I didn't wanna, I don't like biting the edge. That's why I went in further where you did. So you always have to remember to add cheese and take off the tomato. That doesn't have to happen here. I can eat that without cheese and be be satisfied. Um, the thing about the Whopper that's different than the uh, the Big Mac, the meat really sings on a Burger King burger, if you like that flame broiled taste. And it really does come through. I mean, and they, there's a, there's a reason that they that they push it. They both they push it into marketing. The Big Mac is sort of the quintessential fast food hamburger that 
uh, the, well, the quintessential Mick hamburger. You know, it's not. I'm not gonna put yeah. it up against like Shake Shack or something like that. But I'm gonna say I'm gonna give it a solid eight. I was thinking it's the same thing. I'm gonna give it an eight. I love it. Over here, I have to modify things according to my taste. But the flame broil of it all. And it's big. I'm going with a seven on the Whopper. I'm gonna give it a six. Okay, all right. What is that a total of, 14? Uh, you don't have to do the math. Great. <laughs> is it chicken time? <laughs> Hello. Yes. Oh, I'm so used to being waited on. This is a <laughs> very humbly experience and yep. I hate it. <laughs> this is the chicken. <laughs> it is a crispy hand-battered fried chicken and pickles and signature sauce on a toasted potato bun for 5 39 let me rip it out here. Ooh, they, oh yeah, they oh, cut they, they, they cut, cut this it for us. Oh, they cut it. That's great. <laughs> this is a crispy chicken sandwich with crispy chicken and <laughs> and also pickles and a potato roll for five nineteen. I have a digitally aged projection of what he may look like now. <laughs> oh. The Hamburglar is now much older, and I think he might look something like that. Ah, uh, well, strangely familiar. Yeah, strangely familiar. Me if you see him. His chin got a lot bigger. Yeah. His head got longer. His face got narrower, but and his teeth grew from one or two to many. Other than that, yeah, this seems pretty Spit accurate. Spit an image. We'll let you know. Okay, uh, we recently did the, the the spicy chicken sandwich taste test on this show, and McDonald's actually was last place, and Burger King was first place. And our bl and this is a blind uh, uh, taste test. But you know what? We're trying to put that out of our minds. And plus, every sandwich is different. Every sandwich maker is different. And this is not spicy. This is unspicy. Yeah, oh, it's just a regular chicken yeah. sandwich. We didn't get to look at it before. Well, I'll bite to the middle here. Bite to the middle. Where is the crunch? The chicken, where's the taste? I don't think it's bad. It's just say uh, something good about it. It's just not good. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at the look at the crunchy outcroppings on this thing, and it comes with a special sauce. I mean, they really took notes from Popeyes. Oh my goodness, it's a good sandwich. You got oh. a nice crunchy edge. The bun is just popping. The bread's better, the chicken's better. And the sauce, the what sauce is that? The sauce is great. I'm putting this on the scale from one to 10 of the new, sort of the new era of chicken sandwiches. And so yeah. with that in mind, I'm giving the this one a four. I'm gonna give it a three. I'm gonna go over here and, yeah, I'm missing the spiciness, but I I, I think I gotta give this a, a nice solid seven. That's what I was gonna say, seven mm -hmm. for Burger King. Okay, well, Burger King I just, feel good about that. Just took a little chunk out. What's that smell? That's not beef. That's not chicken. It's fish. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is the filet fish It's got fish, uh, cheese, tartar sauce on a bun for five nineteen. Have you seen him? I, have you I, seen I, no, him? I, I, I think I have. Really? Yeah, we'll talk about it You have to later. tell me, okay? okay. Yep. No one is above McDonald's law. I'm so glad I live above the law. I've uh, committed all the crimes except for one big one. Oh yeah? Yes. <laughs> Which is? You know, what's it called when you get a huntsman to go chase your stepdaughter who's prettier than you into the woods never to be seen again? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that, I'm that old one. On it. That old one. Anyway, um, this is the big fish. It's murder. It's 100% white Alaskan pollock. Um, Ooh, breaded pollock. and fried uh, with pickles, tartar sauce on a brioche style bun for which I don't know what the, it's either brioche or not. Uh, okay. It's $5.99, okay. bye-bye. Okay, so the we, filet of fish has cheese. Has a cheese, has cheese, but it has like one half slice of cheese that goes across it. Well, where is the cheese? It's on my side. I didn't get any of the, I got you that get, much of the cheese. Yeah, you get a little bit of cheese. Here, look, I'll, I'll rip this in half if you want a cheesy bite. Uh, yeah, I want to give it. I want to thank you. And over here, there is no cheese, but there's lettuce. And is that mayonnaise or tartar sauce? Tartar sauce. Okay, I believe. Now, filet of fish available all the time. Hmm. In the past, the the big fish has only been available at a limited limited time. It's available right now. I don't know if it's going to be sticking around, but it's available now, so we're tasting it. Hmm. I like a filet of fish. I hardly ever get it though. Cheesy fish sticks. Mm. 
It's, it, it's not a great experience to me. Well, I mean, there's so much to tempt you on the menu. That's why it's like the last thing I would order. That's why I don't get it. Now, Stevie, Cassie will order this straight up, right? Like this is this is her go-to. Straight up. Oh, not straight up though. With a with an extra with a added piece of cheese. In order to then get one, it. she does it to get one whole piece of cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so they make it fresh. I like it. I'm into it. I haven't had the the Burger King one though. Well, no here, cheese here on it. it. Wow, that's pretty good. I wish it had cheese. I would definitely order it with cheese, but the fish is better. Yeah, you can see that the fish has 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 more space between the flakes. It's more space flaked. It's more realistic fish. It is dramatically better in terms of taste, in terms of mouth feel. Uh, I still like it. I'm going with six. Oh, I'm gonna try to be generous because the tartar sauce ain't bad. I'll give it a two. Oh my gosh. It's uh, just, it was just not good. This is actually significantly better. I can't imagine a better fish sandwich. Uh, oh, you can't? I said I can. Oh. I can imagine a better fish sandwich. So don't, don't, don't misquote me now. Right, so. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm give it give an eight, which is very, very high. I'm gonna give it a five because I was very surprised by it. Uh-oh. Watching us eat all this stuff, you might be thinking to yourself, I'm thinking about making a burger at home. Well, check out spork.com to find out which burger buns you should buy. Also, the Spork team ranked the best ketchups with help from mythical chef Josh. Whoop. And be sure to follow Spork on socials everywhere to watch behind the scenes footage of the team's actual taste tests. And there's mm. a t-shirt too. Ugh, next time I do this, I'm getting the burger prime minister. <laughs> I don't uh, want yeah, to do this right. ever again. Uh, uh, this is tough. You tough know, I, I, you, I think someone's looking for you. <laughs> Me? Hmm. Uh, uh oh, you got the queen in These on this. These are McDonald's medium fries, three seventy nine. All right. Could just thank you. Okay, sure. Yeah, help yourself. You're, you're entitled. I'm to a that. crooked cop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the fries. Do you have preconceived notions about this? The skinny, floppy ones are my favorite, and I always eat them all before my burger. McDonald's got fries right a long time ago, like when I was a child. They never changed. No need to change it. Burger King, they did they, some they've changes. They've tried so many things at Burger King, which is a sign of weakness. I, I love a little skinny fry, and I like getting the little crunchy ones, and then the long floppy. Well, let's see what Burger King is doing these days, because I don't think I even know anymore. I remember when they changed. That's a big one. There's in the 90s, and they became crunchier. Too crunchy. In the flavor switch, but the flavor was really good. Hmm. I think they've stayed the same since then because this nope. is how I remember it. They've gotten, they've gone, they've gone back. These are a good flavor. They're more, you remember that they're potatoes. I don't think I want to know that they're potatoes. McDonald's fries, again, like everything else at McDonald's is its own thing. They've de-potato-fied the, a potato. Go bold or go home, I'm giving these fries a proud nine. There's a part of me that wants to go all the way to 10, but I'm not gonna do it, because I, I can imagine a better fry. Nine. I know, maybe we should give it a 10. I just, I mean, what other fast food fry is better than a McDonald's fry? There probably is one, we just haven't had it. I mean, like, I haven't had, like, I haven't really thought about Five Guys fries. They got the potato bags all around the place. We reserve the right to list a higher fry. These aren't bad, though. I respect what they're doing. They're a little too fat for my taste, but I do like the taste. Agreed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them a solid seven because it's that's a, what I was thinking. It's a great seven. it's a great fry. Seven from us. All right. What we got next? <laughs> McDonald's four piece chicken nuggets, all white meat chicken, and barbecue sauce for two nineteen. <laughs> that's a little bit of chicken. I <laughs> miss my family. Uh, he's I dedicated his wife. Hard working. Miss my family. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I try to be intimate with my husband, he just looks at me like this. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, oh. This is our four piece chicken nuggets and with barbecue sauce, 129. In a sack? They, they put them, they, they give them to you they in a sack. They got a chicken now? sack. Now, in again, they've done a lot of different things at Burger King with their, with their they, they've tried so many things. Almost, Lots of shapes. It's almost like they have a mentality that they're behind McDonald's and trying to compete and they keep changing things up to try to like meet that standard or something. But I think they're holding their own in a lot of ways today. I've said it before, you've heard it, but I have to say it again. A McNugget 
is not a nugget. It's a it is a McNugget. It has its own distinct everything about it. You know? It's so good, man. So it's like, if you're expecting if you're a piece in the mood of chicken. For, yeah, if you're in the mood for nuggets, you're not gonna order a McNugget, but if you're in the mood for a McNugget, ain't nothing else that can quench that Man. thirst. I, listen, it was it was after midnight the other night, and I was, me and the boys were on the road, and I was like, y'all feeling like a 20 piece? You know what I'm saying? It's just like, that happens sometimes. And of course, whenever you throw that out in the McLaughlin car, everybody's like, well, yes. I just think it triggers so many childhood memories, most of which are good. The feel of a Burger King nugget is already different. Less, I can tell that it's not gonna be crispy just by picking it up. It's a little bit rubbery almost. Yeah, it's, their sauce is dark. They have a distinct thing going on too, you know what I'm mm. saying? Even the meat feels like breading. There's more breading on a McDonald's McNugget and, and, and the crispy. A McNugget is kinda like a shell. It's that you kinda like break through. That's not a bad nugget. No, it's not. It's not this though. I don't know, I'm only ranking this on a scale of, uh, of fast food nuggets, not like little pieces of chicken. I'm gonna give a McNugget an eight. Eight is what I was gonna say. And this thing is decent, you know? Ain't no shame in this. And if you get it, you're not gonna be complaining, but you're not gonna remember it either. It's not gonna hold a special place in your psyche for your entire life. I don't know about this. I feel like uh, six. I, 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 feel, I still. I was gonna go five, but I still like it, so I'm gonna go six as well. All right, let's wrap things up with dessert. Yes. Hello. This is our Oreo cookie shake for four thirty nine with real Oreo cookie bits in there and whatnot. All right. <laughs> oh, oh mm. um, angry man. Mm. There is a note someone gave me for you. I'm right under your nose this whole time. You'll never catch me alive, rabble, 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 rabble. You can't keep winning. This is an Oreo McFlurry vanilla. Un. You'll love it. It'll be great. He said, this is un. He's a hardworking guy. Yeah, he'll he's, he's, he's flustered. He'll never catch he, he, me. He can't, he can't find them. Oh, goodness. I mean, Flurry has a special spoon. What is happening with this this top? It's chock full of flavor, man. Good gracious. Mmm. Mmm. McFlurry's a solid, solid dessert. That is a that is a good flavored ice cream. And the method by which you consume it, which is the spoon method, and the spoon meets a straw method. Why is it hollow? Is that because so you can, can you suck on it? Oh. Oh my crap, you can? That's what they use to, to blend it. Yeah. They attach to That's the right. Top. Yeah. I remember that now. You don't put, you don't oh, pop yeah, it. This. You, you, I mean, theoretically, if you let it melt and then you did this. Well, this is a straw. And you bit off the end of it, you could use it as a straw. <laughs> this doesn't even taste right after tasting that. I agree with you that initially there was an off-putting flavor, but think milkshake and not ice cream with something in it. Yeah? I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad once you get into the milkshake headspace. It's not, it's not great. And when I go back to this, does this negatively impact this? Let's find out. Not in the slightest. It's just, it this tastes- is an, This is an ice cream treat. So much better. It's so much better. Um, All right. I'm gonna give this a lot of points. It's gonna be around eight. This is super solid. I'm kind of hovering between an eight and a nine, actually, but I'm gonna go eight as well. This, on the other hand, not as good by a long shot, but again, if you go to the milkshake place and you were just thinking cookies and cream milkshake, I, I give it a five. I'll go, I'll go to a five. I don't, I'm not hating on it. I'm gonna give it a four and that's the best I can do. So, take that. So that brings us to McDonald's with a total score of 81 to Burger King with 75. So, hey, pretty close matchup, but McDonald's mm -hmm. got a pretty pretty uh, healthy victory here. You uh, want a chance to sponsor a GMMM Pepsi. Was it ever in doubt for you? Was that you? a word? It was never in doubt for me. Uh, I thought that Burger King might have a better showing, but you know what? They just didn't. Those fries and the milkshake really put them over the top.
Yeah. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I gotta get out of here before I get caught. Hi, Hi we're, we're Sam, Sam and Joe. Joe. And today we're doing the blind chicken sandwich taste test. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. You're always so excited right before it happens. And always. then you eat all that chicken and you're like, mm, what do we do? Oh, it's fun. Click the top link to watch us match the crew to their food poisoning story in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Want to know what foods double as hair care products? Well, Sporked has the answer. Visit Sporked.com for that and all the amazing rankings that you need.